The Butterfly Life Cycle Our story begins with a tiny creature called a caterpillar. This voracious eater spends its days munching on leaves, growing bigger and stronger. Once the caterpillar has grown enough, it undergoes a magical transformation called metamorphosis. The caterpillar attaches itself to a branch or leaf and sheds its outer layer, revealing a smooth, protective covering called a chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, metamorphosis takes place, completely transforming the caterpillar's body. After a period of time, the chrysalis opens, unveiling the breathtaking emergence of a fully formed butterfly. The butterfly gradually fills its wings with fluid, allowing them to expand and strengthen. Finally, it takes its first flight, gracefully fluttering through the air. The butterfly ventures to flowers, using its long, tube-like tongue, called a proboscis, to sip sweet nectar. As time passes, the butterfly seeks out the perfect spot to lay its tiny eggs, typically on the underside of a leaf. From each egg, a minuscule caterpillar emerges, ready to start the cycle anew. These baby caterpillars are called larvae. From the humble caterpillar to the miraculous transformation of metamorphosis, the life cycle of a butterfly is a captivating display of nature's wonders. How many stages are there in a butterfly's life cycle? A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, D, 5, What do caterpillars eat? A. Honey B. Leaves C. Seeds D. Cheese Leaves What is the name of the transformation that happens inside the chrysalis? A. Metamorphosis B. Revolution C. Evolution D. Transition Metamorphosis What is the long, straw-like part that butterflies use to drink nectar called? A. A tentacle B. A snorkel C. A proboscis D. A sipper A proboscis. What is a chrysalis? A. A protective case for transformation. B. A butterfly's favorite food. C. A group of butterflies. D. A type of leaf. A protective case for transformation.